In Tillamook County, you don't have to travel far to see Oregon's agritourism in action. Well, welcome to the Wilson View Dairy. We're going to take a look at uh, the different parts of the dairy operation they have here. Like this Tillamook Dairyland tour, where visitors can see where their food comes from and meet the people who provide a healthy product. I think it's very important that we reach out and talk to the people who buy our product because we uh, enjoy what we do. It is hard work, it's all the time, and we invite people to come share our life with us. Then there's the Navor Oyster Farm on Neatarts Bay. This is a cluster of Olympia oysters, probably about four years old. Home to Oregon's only native oyster called Olympia. Once thought extinct, the silver dollar-sized shellfish are making a comeback. It's really good, I like that. Yeah? It's briny as heck. Yeah, well, that's. I think that's characteristic of Neatarts Bay. We go along as we're harvesting. We have a little hook knife. Which brings us to the DeNoble Organic Farm, where Tom DeNoble and his family raise vegetables of all sort just off Wilson River Loop Road. Tomatoes, beans, potatoes, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, cucumbers, carrots, and more. As we're walking along, we're looking at the plant, looking at the energy of a plant. This is how we do it. It's his amazing artichoke field that fills Tom with pride. He raises thousands of the delicious chokes that are related to the thistle and the sunflower. Well, in an artichoke, you have the heart, which is down here. That's the artichoke heart. You have the leaf and this fuzzy little thing right here, that's the, the choke of an artichoke. That's the part you don't eat because it's fuzzy, it'll get caught in your throat. So there's, there's your artichoke, where it comes from. The DeNoble family grows the largest artichoke crop in Oregon. And Tom says it's Tillamook's cool climate and fertile soil that are perfect conditions for the tender purple artichokes. Chokes are also favorites of chefs across Oregon, as well as Tom's customers at the Portland and Beaverton Farmers Markets, plus the hundreds of customers who stop in at their roadside stand. Cooking can be as simple as boiling the whole artichoke for 20 minutes. We also uh, you can cut them in half, uh, de-choke them, parboil them for five to 10 minutes and throw them on the grill, it's great. Stuff them with a little crab, a oh. little breadcrumb, <laughs> very good, roast them in the oven. Wow. It's, it's, it's amazing. You're making me hungry. <laughs> Parmesan cheese, a little butter goes a long way. It takes 100 hours of temperatures below 50 degrees to form a bud that eventually becomes the artichoke and the plant will produce from May through November. Tom says it's all about deep, rich soil, early morning summer fog, and salt air that make for a flavorful harvest. A quality artichoke that's gonna be good at the heart, good at the leaf, and just a, a pleasant experience so that the customers keep coming back. So stop by and check them out. The stand is open daily. In Tillamook County, with photographer Jeff Kastner, Grant McComey, KGW.